We've talked so far about you know ruling your world. We've talked so far you know about your words and thoughts having power. Now to kind of bring this all into focus, I would think if your words and thoughts have power and you rule the world, I would think that this last key here you've got about you know having focused language is extremely important. So let's dive right into it. Why is focused language the key? Focus language is the main key because we have to understand the literal meaning of our words. And when you focus the literal meaning of your words, you create and manifest easier and quicker because languaging will make you wealthy. And when we were growing up, we all learned English in America, not necessarily in all countries. And it's because we have one language that is empowered. And when you look at having one language, when you look at languaging is making you powerful and using the right word will make everything easier for you. And by what I'm saying is your words have power and understanding the correct words, but we also have to communicate better with other people. And using focused language, like you're understanding exactly what I'm saying right now because I'm speaking words that you understand. And so I'm speaking your language, so to speak. And speaking the language of the universe is understanding the literal meaning. And what I was saying earlier is if you use the word I want, looking up the, the literal meaning of want, I want means a desire that's not fulfilled. But if you use the, a different word in exchange, such as I have or I choose to have, that completely changes the content on how that's going to manifest, how that will come to you. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, it's interesting because I, I take people through something very similar um, when talking about things that they've done in the past. In other words, most people say, well, I should have I should have done this or I could have done that. And it's and I stop them and say, no, I mean, should have and could have are very closed things. And it's regretful. It's regretful language. You know, you come and mm -hmm. say next time I will. And it's an amazing thing that happens when people realize that not only do words have power to the universe, but they have power inside of you and they have power to make your own words have, have power to make you feel certain ways. And when exactly. watching clients go through, you know, a simple exercise, like when they say, well, I should have or I could have done this. And it's like, OK, watch how much different you feel when you say next time I will. You know, next time I will is an empowered statement. It's something that you're setting your brain up for for success. It's something that you're setting your brain up to realize that the next time an opportunity comes along, you're going to do something different. You're going to do something that pushes you forward. I mean, you know, my, I, I think that's a good example of, of focus language. Is that a, is that yeah. a good example of focus language? That's a very per that's perfect. By, by exchanging I should have to I will next time or I can or I choose, using higher energy words is going to create a better feeling and when you feel better you have more power when you have more power you have more energy to rule your world yeah and it's so interesting because we had talked about you know you had mentioned a comment in, in this segment about words can make you wealthy and I think words can also make you poor can't they oh yes yes my my languaging when I was younger, I grew up in Upper Michigan. I spoke like a youper. <laughs> okay. I'm only so laughing. I I'm going to interrupt for a second. I'm only laughing because I lived right outside Detroit for, I think it was about eight years. So when you said youper, <laughs> I haven't heard that since I moved out of Detroit. But it, it kind of makes me feel like Detroit, I feel like, is my second home. I know it's bizarre with everything that's gone on there, but I'm a whacked out type of guy sometimes. So it, 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 it made me smile when I heard when I heard youper. So anyway, I, I'm just, continue. <laughs> Correct. So when I grew up, we do not have proper diction. We're way up in Upper Michigan. We 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 sound like French Canadians or Minnesotians, as they call us. And English is not really highly valued. Math is highly valued. 
So they don't really focus a lot on the proper usage of language. And it's not only that, but you know how you say you have to speak professional in order to have a professional position. Well, can you imagine not being able to speak professional, not having proper diction, and then trying to get higher up in the world? People are not going to take you seriously. It also is understanding that your words will affect you personally and how you feel. Like your example said, instead of using I should, which makes you feel bad about yourself because it's not something you are doing, you change that with I could or I choose or I will. And then you start feeling good about yourself, but you also are speaking other people's language when you, you find out what their language is. And, you know, like we language people by their personality and we have, you know, we all have a, a specific personality. Like somebody who is very mathematical, they speak direct, they're, they're very focused on results oriented, they want to know facts and figures. And then if you, um, if you speak with somebody who's really animated, very out there, you you know, speak it a little faster is better for them. And if you speak with somebody who is definitely a go-getter and somebody who's going to make things happen, they want to know what's the results, what's the benefits. Yeah. And by so the way, languaging. people resonate with the people that they talk and they experience and they have, they have experiences alike and they talk similar. It's one of the reasons why people with different dialects and people from different areas of the country can become highly successful because people in those localized areas or people in the areas are, you know, they, they resonate with them and they can, they can identify with them. And isn't that really the key here, Lucy, in the end is the, your, your words and your focus language need to resonate with your ideal client and that's what's going to make you yeah. successful. Exactly. If, if you can speak to your ideal client with their problems and their issues better than they can tell you themselves, they're saying, yes, that's me, that's me, that's me. And there's a cohesion. And when you have that cohesion, when, when you understand another person, they feel accepted. And that means they're in, not out. Yeah. And I guess that applies to your, your own self-talk as, you know, your own self-talk as well. You know, you know, you can, um, when you talk to yourself in a way that you can resonate with, um, it's going to help you overcome fear. It's going to help you get past everything and it's going to help you be more, be more successful. Um, because it's, it's going to then break down the barrier that your brain puts up to say, I don't understand what's going on. I mean, is that, is that fair to say? Yes, yes, it's fair to say because if you're talking poorly about yourself, if you say, oh, I hate my body and, and I don't like this and I don't like that, your body is going to react. Your mind is going to react. And it's hard to show up in the world when you're focusing on everything that makes you feel bad. And if you, you, even when you have depression, I understand I've, I've had thoughts of a very serious depression and chronic fatigue at times throughout my life. And I understand that when I was focusing on things that I wasn't grateful for, when I was focusing on things that made me sad, they would make me sadder. <laughs> yeah. and, and so even if you're having a bad day or even if you're having a uh, down days and you feel depressed and you're not sure how you're going to get out of this, just find one little silver of something that you can hang on to. Like maybe you're just happy because the sun came up today. Yeah. And, and just, just start there. Even if it's just a little baby step, you know, one little baby step will lead to another, to another, to another. And that will eventually lead you to the point of where you can take the leaps. When you can feel, ah, I've got it. Yeah. And you can feel great. And when you feel great, you can help other people feel great. 
and that's when the synergy starts working. That's when we get in sync with our soul purpose. That's epic. So I can't think of a better place to roll out of this episode on other than to ask you, do you have any final, do you have any final thoughts that you'd like to leave our audience with today? I would really like to leave the audience with being able to understand that no matter where you're at, no matter what your past has been, you can still be great. You can still accomplish your desires and you can really, really know that I truly believe in you and I am here for you. I will stand for you. Epic. And, and I, folks, I think you should all take Lucy up on that offer. So what I've done is thrown up a website. It's bit.ly slash talk to Lucy. It's on the screen right now. We've spent the last hour talking with an epic guest, Lucy McMonagall. Yay! For those of you counting, the over-under is zero. For those of you who, who bet the under, you win. Go back to the beginning of the episode and figure out what the heck I'm talking about. On today's episode, Lucy, once again, has been an epic guest. We found out in the heroine's journey piece of our show, how Lucy went from a caregiver in the medical profession to having a, 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 a medical condition and, and an emergency surgery that cost her her business and flowed into continuing to help people through what she does now as a, as a coach and somebody who helps you break through your fears. We then looked at in the experts focus segment about how your words and thoughts have power how you rule your world, and how focused language is the key. If you're just tuning in right now, where have you been this last hour? You should have been joining us, but that's okay. We've got everything out there. You can go back and watch the beginning of the episode, which I highly recommend you do. And while you're pulling up the episode, head over to bit.ly slash talk to Lucy, set up and sign up for a complimentary abundance breakthrough session. That sounds awesome, and that sounds epic. You know, you know, if I were you, everybody watching this right now, go, go sign up for that right now. Bit.ly slash talk to Lucy. Sign up for your complimentary abundance breakthrough session. Watch the rest of her ep episode. Get in touch with Lucy. Make sure you do it today. And until next time, and until we see you again on the next episode of Expert Showcase, make it an epic day. To watch the rest of this epic episode now, click on the link below the video. Do it now, you'll be glad you did. Are you still here? What are you waiting for? Watch the rest of this epic episode now by clicking on the link below the video.